There were so many times as well where I would go into my sister's closet and like take her clothes, go to the party, wear her clothes, and then before I got home, I'd change back out and have to like put them back without her noticing. It was 50-50 chance whether she'd find out. And when she did find out, oh gosh, that was bad. <laughs> but the times she didn't find out, yeah, that was pretty sweet. my channel. So today I'm going to show you my designer bag collection. Dun, dun, dun. This is actually something very new for me. I never thought that I'd be sat down doing this video because I don't generally, how do I put this? Oh, it's hard. <laughs> I'm losing my words here. But I'm always like erring on caution. Like, I don't want to seem like I'm bragging. Like the videos, like what I got for my birthday, what I got for Christmas. I'm always like conscious that I don't want to seem like I'm bragging because I'm really not. And I rarely buy designer bags for myself. Rarely. You know, I will really think about the purchase and save up for them. And sometimes I will sell a bag in order to pay for a new bag. I got a lot of requests from you guys saying, show us your closet tour. The closet isn't ready, but it's in the process. Um, I showed you a little sneak peek in the last video, but yeah, I do really want to bring more fashion into this channel and show you, you know, everything that you get to see on my Instagram. Um, if you haven't seen my Instagram, I'll put the name here. The fashion videos I have done have been mainly high street hauls, affordable fashion and I just want to put that out there that I absolutely love high street. I love mixing up high-end designer pieces with more affordable pieces. Um, things that I've invested in, things I've had in my wardrobe for years with more on-trend pieces from more affordable brands like Zara, Topshop, Mango. I think I was like 18 when I had my very first designer handbag. Before that I didn't have anything designer. I grew up in Devon, <laughs> in a small town, and we didn't even have any luxury shops around. This all came about when I moved to London, when I was at modeling, when I then was blogging, and this bag collection I'm gonna show you has actually been growing for at least eight years or so. Some of the bags are my own that I've had in my wardrobe for a long time. Some of them have actually been gifted to me from a brand or a PR company, and then some of them have actually been loaned to me because it's fashion week next week, or fashion month. That's why I have a few beautiful bags from some of my favorite designers that I'm gonna mention in today's video. Also to mention is that as I'm doing this huge clear out, I'm also selling a few bags that, my babies, <laughs> I really, I really do love them and it's been a hard decision to sell them, but there comes a point when it's like, I haven't worn this bag in 2017, so just break ties with it, Emma, and move on. I set up a Depop page, and so I've listed those bags that I am selling. The bags that I am putting up on Depop for sale, part of the proceeds are going to charity. If you're interested, you can check out the description box because I have my Depop page linked there. This isn't gonna be a review video of any of the bags, so I'm not gonna go into that much detail. You know, if you have any questions, then of course, just write them in the comments and I'll be answering them. But wait, before I show you any of the bags, if you are new around here, please do hit that subscribe button because we've got fresh new videos every week and we're so close to 30,000, so I'm really hoping we get there soon. <laughs> it's free, so you might as well. And if you like this kind of video, if you like fashion videos, whether they're hauls or trend videos or style edits, then please let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more of them. This isn't gonna be a review video of any of the bags, so I'm not gonna go into that much detail. You know, if you have any questions, then of course, just write them in the comments and I'll be answering them. This is an interesting color, I think you'll agree. I found out the name, okay, so then <laughs> I did my research, okay. Um, this is the Christine Dior Diorissimo bag. Really beautiful, amazing color, very unique. I feel like when you've got enough black bags and beige bags, you really need to branch out and try different colors and be a little bit more experimental. And I just think this is a really great color. Um, and whilst it is a little bit more tricky to style with things, you don't necessarily have to have something orange in your outfit. You, there's different ways in which you can make this bag work for you without having to like have matching orange shoes or something. <laughs> this is the Bulgari Serpenti Viper bag, which I was kindly given 
by Bulgari, gifted, which is incredible. It was my very first luxury bag that was gifted to me from a brand. So generous of them. It's such a beautiful bag. The craftsmanship is so exquisite. I've worn this bag so many times. It's the perfect bag for when you're going to events, work meetings. It's so sophisticated. Oh. <laughs> it is when you hold it correctly. Um, I really like the way that you have this option to hold it like that or with a strap. Um, so yeah, it's a really beautiful bag, that one. The next bag I'm going to show you is one that's been lent to me from Bulgari. It is for fashion month. So I'm giving you like a little sneak preview. So this is my Bulgari Sapenti bag. It is the medium size. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful chain. It gives it definitely more of a dressed up look. See the signature snake head here. The color, let's just talk about the color first, okay? I don't know how this is showing up. It's a purple color. Very subtle though, so it's like that just very dark purple. I love the size of this, it's a perfect size for me because it's enough to fit my vlogging camera in, my mobile phones, and you know, obviously makeup for touch-ups and things like that. It's nice and light, and then it has this great divider, it comes with a little mirror in here as well. It's really beautifully designed, very, very elegant. This is like one of my go-to bags. Uh, it goes with everything, it's so easy, the Chanel Boy bag and I really love the detailing here. There is definitely some marks on the inside, <laughs> so you can tell I've worn it. Mostly in the daytime, uh, it fits my camera in, which is always a good point. It goes with so many things, I think you can dress this up, or you can make it more casual. That's what I love about the boy bag. You can make it whatever you want it to be. The next bag is my Lady Dior bag. It was actually a friend of mine who inspired me to get this, and it was quite a few years ago. And I just remember she was wearing like, this A-line skirt and her whole look was really feminine. And I just thought, this is such a beautiful bag. I love the size of it. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this one. It goes with everything. It's definitely more of a dressy up bag. Like I don't have it at the moment, but I sometimes put a scarf around here. And it's a great size as well. Really great size. You can put so many things in it. And the color. You know already how much I love this color. It's just so beautiful, the blue, powder blue, blue with the gray detail here. It's one of my favorites. This is my Valentino Garavani bag in medium size, which I feel like has some things from the night before. Yes, we've got my rings. <laughs> what else? We have some, we've got some cash, always good. We've got baggage check from Bulgari Hotel. Uh, more cash. We've got my house key. I've had so much use out of this Valentino bag. It is beautiful. I love all the sequin detailing and the stitching here. It's so intricate. I get a lot of compliments on this bag. I really love this chain as well. It's quite heavy actually, but it's just such a beautiful bag and a great size. It fits everything in, so that's why it's my go-to. This is the medium size Garavani bag by Valentino in red leather. Sometimes people say, oh, red is hard to style. I personally don't think it is. It's a primary color. It goes with so many things, especially if you're wearing like denim or a white t-shirt or a white shirt like I am now. Um, it's just a really nice pop of color and I love red as a color. So we have in here some receipts, <laughs> the chain detailing. It's definitely one of my go-to evening bags. This bag has really seen everything. <laughs> this Chanel bag I've had for quite a few years. I totally forgot and I wanna just tell you before I before I go to bed, I took my lashes off. I put my hair up, took my jewelry off. But this bag, I forgot to mention, it's the Chanel boy bag in small. Stingray on the front here is actually the very first Chanel bag I ever bought myself. I will never get rid of this one because it's got such sentimental value to me. And it was the first bag that I could actually afford to buy myself. So yeah, this has definitely got a lot of treasured memories and you know, I would still wear this even today. So it's lasted a very long time, a great investment piece. I'm gonna let you into a little secret, okay? And I'm sure some of you will relate to this, but I never put my handbags on the floor, ever. It's also part superstition, because they say that if you put your handbag on the floor, that you'll lose all your money. So, you know, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> but also, just, I don't wanna put my handbag, my nice handbag on the floor. And when I go to the bathroom, okay, and there's no hook, you know, on the back of the door, I literally go for a pee whilst I'm holding my handbag above my head. 
just putting that out there, okay? And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one that does that, okay? <laughs> okay, so yes, I really do take care of my handbags and I take care of all my things. I think it's important to, especially when you've worked hard enough to have them and um, like I said, I didn't have them growing up at all. In fact, I was the middle child, so I would get my sister's hand-me-downs or her pre-loved <laughs> things. And you know, it was it was definitely that scenario. So when I got to the age of being able to buy the stuff myself, it was a pretty good day. <laughs> and I didn't have to share with anyone. <laughs> to be honest, I do share with my friends. We do like switch, sometimes switch up things. If you haven't seen that video, I have a video with my best friend, Irina, and we like style each other out and like we switch clothes. It's quite fun. This is the Louis Vuitton Petite Mal bag. And I love this bag. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I need this bag. It's not the most practical bag as I really can't fit that much in it. I can fit my iPhone Plus, which is the most important thing, but not much else. I thought this was just such a beautiful treasure chest bag. And I knew from the moment I saw it, I would get a lot of wear out of it, definitely for the evenings. And I've worn this so much, but I've also styled it up in the day. And even though you've got the black and the gold, it can look quite eveningy. It definitely depends how you style it. Compare it back with much more neutral tones and wear it in the day as well. The next one from Bulgari that's lent to me for Fashion Week is this beautiful one here. This one is also the Serpenti. Look at this color, stunning color. Um, I love turquoise, blues, and I love the, the shiny metallic of this. I think for me, this is more of an evening bag, especially with the size, because in the day I would struggle to fit everything in. But during fashion week, everyone gets very dressed up. So evening wear, day wear kind of become the same. Great size to go for an evening dress when you don't want to take out a big bag. Beautiful long strap, so it's more of like a long one. You could also hold it as a clutch though if you wanted. Um, if you are looking to purchase a designer bag, I really can't recommend Bulgari enough. Uh, they have an exquisite collection of different bags, different sizes. I've got a few in my own collection. Bulgari Serpenti Viper bag. I've also got another one which I'll show you and I just wear them all the time because they're so durable, they go with everything and they're just so elegant and sophisticated. And I just think, you know, you can't go wrong with a Bulgari bag. Bulgari obviously is also a jewelry brand and I feel that the attention to detail can be seen in the jewelry as much as the bags. Just really beautiful craftsmanship. So the next bag is been lent to me from Front Row. So Front Row um, approached me last year and I hadn't come across a site like it. So basically they have high-end designer pieces that they rent out and you can rent them for a few days. And I thought that is such a great idea for someone if they're looking to make a purchase for a designer bag and they're unsure, but they wanna try it out, they wanna see how it feels, they wanna like test it, like you test drive a car. You wanna test out what it's like. Does it work with your lifestyle? Does it fit the things you want in it? And then you just give it back. This is the Louis Vuitton Capucine bag. It's a beautiful tote bag, it's embellished. I love the color, it's like a navy color. It is my first time I'm ever trying out this style of bag. It's got a longer strap. Yay, that's good. I feel like I gravitate more towards these medium-sized bags because this can really complement an outfit, whereas sometimes a bigger bag can look a bit too cumbersome. So this is the Gucci Marmont Metalasse. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is a great belt. I love this style of Gucci bag. I feel like it's something new for me but it looks really stylish. Like you can style it with an oversized blazer or a trench coat like I did, or even with like a t-shirt and jeans and a skirt and a big oversized cashmere jumper. So there's many different ways. I just think it's really cool and it's very much on trend right now. The next bag is the Lady Dior bag, which I wore to the MTV Awards. It's really beautiful. Let's take this off, Let me show you. I love the detailing. It's a great for an evening outfit because it's not a clutch bag, which is for me a little bit tricky. I did want to show you my clutch bags. I don't know if I'll have a chance to today because this video is already going to be really long. Um, and I feel like clutch bags, I don't get that much wear out of anymore because I'm vlogging most of the time. And where can I put my camera when I'm holding a clutch? And it just doesn't fit the camera in. So this bag fits my camera in. If you are like me and you like to 
keep a few things in your bag and also be hands-free because it has a strap. And the metallic silver goes with so many things and I feel like metallic is such a universal color. I prefer it to black, I prefer it to beige. It looks really cool and it's like gives a fresh edge, I think, to your outfit. So next up is my YSL monogram bag. This has a beautiful tassel at the front and you can wear it either like this on your shoulder or you can wear it where it's like longer. And I love this bag. It's such a beautiful evening bag. Very elegant, very chic black bag from YSL. This one was also gifted to me from Bulgari and it is a stunning bag. I've worn this so many times. Um, I really feel like it elevates the look. I often gravitate towards dark colors in the evening, like black. You don't want to wear a black bag. I need something that will lift the look. And going for metallic, it complements the look so well. And this is a gorgeous gold metallic. And yeah, really beautiful. I wear a lot of gold jewelry, so I think it complements it quite well. This is my Celine trapeze bag in black leather with blue python. It's a beautiful color, really nice bright blue. I put this up on Depop and then I took it back again because I was like, I really like this bag. The reason I put it on Depop was that I went two years without it. It was in storage and I just thought, if I've gone two years without it, do I really need to hold on to it any longer? But then I thought about it and I thought, you know what, it's always good to have a bag like this. I'm not going to drop that kind of money anytime soon on a new one, so I might as well hold on to this one. So that is why I had to take it off and mark it as sold. But it's actually still with me. <laughs> this was kindly gifted to me by Elena Gessinelli, who has an incredible handbag collection. I love the detailing here on the handle. And it has like these two cups here. Love wearing this bag. It's a great size, really beautiful day bag, and it's got a two-tone to it, so it's like a taut color. I love taut. What's in this? <laughs> the wrapper from my protein bar. By the way, these are really good protein bars. Yeah, so this is really cool. I love this bag and really want to keep hold of it. There was a time when I did sell two Chanel handbags and I sold them, them to a lady in this shop in Knightsbridge and it basically buys designer bags from people and then they sell them to their customers. And the reason was is that I had two bags. One was a beige snake skin and the other one was a black snake skin bag with gold. And I thought the black and gold looked too much at the time. Don't ask me, I've got a lot of black and gold still here. <laughs> but I think I think in my mind I was just like, I don't, I'm not wearing these, I should sell them. Looking back now, I got a fraction of the price of what I bought them for and it wasn't worth it. And that's why I won't sell again a Chanel handbag. For example, this bag. It's a beautiful mustard yellow. I haven't had that much wear out of it. I wouldn't sell it because it's something that you can wear time and time again. In fact, I really love Chanel vintage collection and they sell it in some of the stores. I saw it in LA when I was there. I'm sure they sell it in London somewhere too. The collection from the 90s is so cool. This was actually done in the vintage style, but it was bought within the last couple of years. So it's not from the 90s. Some people have very mixed opinions about mustard yellow, but I think when it's styled with greys and denims, it looks really beautiful. I had my friend around recently, Jade, who's an amazing YouTuber, you should check her out. And she actually pointed out this bag, and this is kind of like one of my underrated bags because I haven't worn it in the last year, it's from YSL, but it's a great camera bag, and obviously the color is really cool, it's a really nice green, and large strap as well, it's really beautiful. So I need to wear this more often. <laughs> Thanks Jade for reminding me. So then this is my next one. This one is from Gucci. It's a backpack. I used to wear this all the time when I was in LA. It's so convenient. It has a lovely bamboo kind of handlebar here. And then the tassels. Uh, yeah, I really love this one. No color transfer, which is really unusual for a bag of this color. Uh, beautiful soft leather. This one out of storage and I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of it in the spring and summertime. Now, save that for another time. But I do have one bag reveal that I wanted to show you. It's a new bag that I got from Aspinall. This is my new bag, and you may notice that it's very similar to the one I got my mom. So I got my mom the bigger version, and I liked it so much, I decided to go for the smaller version for myself. I feel like the prices with Aspinall make it that much more accessible than some of the other bags that you could find um, out there in the like a luxury market, like that. Really nice little contraption there. You can really take this from day to night, wear it in the winter, the summer. This white and black is such a beautiful kind of contrast. 
and I just think it's a perfect bag for someone if they wanted to buy their first designer handbag. It's a really great brand and Aspen will have some amazing handbags. They never disappoint so that's why I decided to get a matching one with my mom and this size is perfect for me because like I said day to evening and it will go with everything. Alright well that is it for my bag collection video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did please leave me some comments because I'll be reading and replying to all of them and like I said I have a few bags that I'm selling on Depop so do check that out in the description box below. Some really cool ones. I can show you one at least. This is my Gucci bag that I've got up on Depop. It's never been worn. It is absolutely stunning. It comes with a dust bag and obviously the certificate and everything. I enjoyed going through all the memories of all these bags and chatting with you guys. I hope I see you in my next one. So do hit that subscribe button below if you're not yet subscribed and see you soon. Bye.